Hello, everybody. 17th of May. This image, I go, I'm going to go straight into. Oh, by the way, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please. Need all the help I can get. But as soon as I posted that video from yesterday, it must have came out right after I posted that video. Okay, let's take a from Romero right here on Comet Watch Facebook. Now, look at this. Here's the comet traveling south, traveling southward. Okay, the this is north and we have we have this right here like it got smacked or something that there is a weird image to say the least so that's that that came out from Romero who knows um, what's what what happened here this is happening this happened last last night there's more now this was posted by Michael seven hours ago. He took it on May 17th at that time, UTC time, North of South Africa. And this is what he says. 12P shows a relatively normal comet with a dust tail that is increasingly becoming an anti-tail. I talked about the anti-tail. That make, if that's, okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, so we're looking at an anti-tail. Okay, he's, he's referring to this. Okay, that's, the dust, the dust is becoming an anti-tail. But since we don't have the Spitzler, that would show the invisible part that we would, things that we will be able to see, but we're not able to see that since we're in blackout mode. Michael is one of the best in the business. He's been doing this for decades and decades and decades. So he knows what he's talking about. Highly respected. So we have an anti-tail. That means connection. I always knew it was con well, it's, it's always, it's, it's all, these comments are always connected with the sun. Thing is, you just don't see it. Now we know. It is. If that's an anti-tail, and I believe him 100%, or looking like an anti-tail, that means that's number nine on the list. I have a comment video where I got the listing of all the anti-tails. I think it was a Wikipedia anti-tail, and it lists, it lists the anti-tails. In other words, it is connected with the sun. Think of it like like plugged into the wall, and then you're getting electricity. In other words, you're getting charged, and you're influencing the sun, and the sun is influencing you, vice versa. So we have a connection. It might explain all those prior historical events when it was every time it comes every 71 years there's always something major that happens with with the planet and the gases and the locura it's it's in the book of eaton video okay let's take a look since we got an anti tail i'm back to uh, jerusalem where i always look at my observatory from jerusalem let's see where it's located it's right by rigel it's let's zoom in there it is by right rigel it Okay, so it's still in the snake. Okay, we got Venus, the sun, Jupiter, Uranus behind the sun. Okay, looking at the sky, there it is, Rigel, and there's Comet 12P. So it's basically next to Rigel in the Orion constellation. Okay, looking at the 3D for the 18th, see if this thing cooperate. That's where it's located. That's Earth right there. There's the sun. So if it is having an anti-tail okay that's shooting sort of connection with the sun yep that's what i mean the uranus is behind the sun so but all this is in the taurus constellation we got uranus jupiter pretty soon we're gonna have an alignment right here with venus moving in that direction behind the sun so we got one two three four that's what we have so far. So that's what it's looking like. I'm having difficulty again with this thing. But we have an anti-tail. So there's a connection to the left side of the sun. Might explain some solar activity. My opinion only. My opinion. Okay, taking a look over here in this site. We have this one posted on the 17th. Yeah, we here. We can see the anti-tail facing the sun remember this is north so it's have this was remember this was facing northward now it's at almost at the exact three o'clock position almost let's say 230 position 245 position look like jpl they updated on the 14th 7843 right here look like it hasn't even moved i don't trust those numbers no sir no sir okay looking at space weather Oh, there we got it for Saturday already. Not even Saturday. So, okay. Well, I got an M class. You know, in the before the X class, having an M class was a big deal, especially 
that number right there in the past because the M-Class could still do damage. So this is another M-Class in this side. If we go put a straight line down this way, we'll run into Comet 12P. Okay, checking out the latest. I think we saw this one already. 17th, this was posted. I cannot pronounce that name. You're, you're great. Yep, that's the one we saw. Take a closer look. Yep. It looks like we have uh, we have an anti-tail. That's a bit too odd right there. Credit to this person right here. Okay, so that's all I have for now. There, there was a story. It's a story that I want to cover about uh, this this gentleman that plays for the Kansas City Chief, right? A kicker, and they're going after him because he made a speech of you know, loving God, family, and the importance of having a father in the family. Spoke out against, not against, shining the light on fatherless homes and the effects it had not having a father. The importance of having a father, family, and he's getting attacked by the lunatics. I, I don't even call them left wings. They're the, the man haters, the ones that hate God, the ones that hate fathers, hate uh, stable families. Only a couple NFL players, you know, stood up to defend them. And the Kansas City, I think it was a magazine or publication, you know, basically docks them. So, so that's what we have, guys. Okay, so I'll leave you with this. A little, little humor. I think, <laughs> I think God put cats so we can laugh, you know, because they do some crazy stuff. <laughs> okay, until next time. <laughs>